shit, Errol Spence damn near just killed Leonard Bundu. I mean, he caught Leonard Bundu coming in with an uppercut, bang! Then he came back and caught his ass again with a straight cross, bang, bang! And knocked his ass, that motherfucker went flying, lifted him off his feet. He went flying out of the ring. That's some shit like when Joe Lewis got hit by Rocky Marciano. Y'all remember that shit? Joe Lewis got hit by Marciano and he fell, damn near fell out the ring, damn near got killed. Well, the same shit happened today. Errol Spence hit Leonard Bundu. I mean, hit that motherfucker with a power shot. And he went flying out of the ring between the ropes. I was scared as a motherfucker. I thought Errol Spence had done killed the guy, man. The motherfucker wasn't breathing. He wasn't talking. He wasn't moving. I'm talking about straight up unconsciousness. Night quell put to sleep. You hear what I'm saying? Listen to what the fuck I'm saying. This motherfucker, I thought he was dead. He was straight up on his back unconscious. Not breathing, not moving. Now, I don't want to hear none of this shit anymore about Errol Spence being a prospect. I don't want to hear that shit. Cut that out as of right now today. I don't want to hear Keith Thurman or Sean Porter say, we don't want to fight Errol Spence because he's a prospect. Hell the fuck no. He's not a prospect. He's damn near out here killing motherfuckers. He's about to catch a case. You hear what I'm saying? He almost caught a murder case today. Knocking this man unconscious. Linda Bundle, I hope you're all right. My thoughts and prayers are with you, bruh. I ain't never seen no shit like that since Joe Lewis got knocked out the fucking ring by Marciano, man. I'm telling you, if you saw it live, my chest, my heart was hurting for Leonard Bundle, man. I thought he was dead for real. Motherfucker not moving, not speaking, not breathing. That's some scary ass shit. So I can't give Errol Spence a pass no more for fighting bums. Like I said, I don't want to hear that prospect shit no more. You can throw that out the window. Lose it, kick it out the motherfucking door. I don't want to hear none of this prospect talk. No more bums. You gotta fight names from here on out, else I gotta rip, or else I gotta rip you, bruh. No more bums. You damn near killed a 45 year old man today. From this day forward, nah, man, you can't fight no more bums. I don't want to hear that shit. Al Heyman gotta step you up, bruh. I don't want to hear that prospect shit. You out here damn near killing motherfuckers, catching cases and shit. So it's time for Al Heyman to step you up. Put you in with a Victor Ortiz, a Berto. It has to be a name opponent. Lamont Peterson. It has to be a name. None of these 45-year-old bums and shit. If you can't get Kell Brook, it has to be a name opponent. Or else I got to go in. I got to rip you, man. You no longer will get a pass for being a prospect. I've been giving you passes because you were a prospect. But after you damn near kill a motherfucker, once you start killing motherfuckers, you ain't no prospect no more. You a motherfucking professional. You are currently a big name. So you got to be in with a name, whether it's Ortiz, Berto, uh, Peterson, any one of them motherfuckers. No more of these 45-year-old guys. No more Algeries. No more of these bums, man. You are officially elite. You damn near killed the motherfucker today. That makes you elite. So Keith Thurman, Sean Porter. Yeah, Sean Porter, step your ass up. You ain't got no more excuses, bro. Keith Thurman just kicked your ass. You're coming off a loss. Why don't you fight Errol Spence? That's a great fight for you. Before you had an excuse, you talking about... Oh, uh, well, Spence is a prospect. I don't want to fight him. When Floyd told you to fight him, he said he'll give you a title shot, bro. Floyd offered you a title shot. Showtime, Sean Porter. You turned that shit down, man. And I like Sean Porter. But step up to the plate. Fight Errol Spence if he can't get the Kell Brook fight. And who knows what's going to be left for Kell Brook after he fights big drama show Gennady Golovkin. You might not even be, you might not even see Kell Brook. Kell Brook might not even be the same after y'all see that motherfucker again. Because we know he getting knocked the fuck out. <laughs> so, y'all let me know what y'all thought about the devastating knockout. Might have been the knockout of the year, in my opinion. That shit was just 